Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I wanted to talk about how I keep the horses warm on super cold days. It is under 20 degrees in New York today, so I don't actually know what that equates to in Celsius. I think below zero? I don't know. Anyways, um, it's pretty cold. Uh, and I, I just finished up doing a reel for Instagram about five tips to keep your horses warm in cold weather. So I thought we would kind of like dive into that on the vlog today in a little more depth about what I'm doing to help keep the horses warm and happy when the temperatures are this cold. Horses actually do pretty well in this weather, surprisingly. Um, as long as they have food and water and blankets if they're clipped. So yeah, I think if you are well prepared, it's not really a big deal to have uh, temperatures drop this cold. Uh, it's cold to <laughs> deal with. I think the, the biggest frustration that we deal with here at the farm is that the barn itself is not heated. So making sure that the pipes don't freeze when it gets, you know, it was down in like the single digits or the low teens last night and um that's kind of the biggest concern i've been steaming a lot of hay uh just to bring some extra warmth into the barn at least i tell myself it brings warmth i'm not sure it actually does but i'm going to show you guys that reel that i put together really quick and then we will kind of jump into those points uh in a little more depth on the vlog today hey guys it's under 20 degrees in new york today these are my five tips for helping your horses stay warm in the cold temps Step one is to get your horses outside as much as possible, weather permitting to keep their joints moving and their blood flowing. Step two is to make sure that they have access to fresh water and hay at all times despite below freezing temperatures to make sure that they can stay hydrated and have forage to eat to stay warm. Step three, make sure to give them warm soupy meals AM and PM with electrolytes to make sure that they are getting enough hydration. Step four, make sure you blanket your horses appropriately based on if they are clipped or not and based on how their body temperature runs. This can really range across the board and I don't feel that there is a one size fits all chart that is appropriate. Step five is to discuss with your trainer what temperature is too cold to ride. Maybe it's a good idea to take them for a hand walk or a road hack on days where it's not a great idea for them to work heavily. Stay warm out there, friends. I also think that the horses like that the hay that comes out of the steamer is warm. Today, because it's so cold, we did not ride this morning. And uh, I'm just gonna magna wave some horses today. Dakota's really funny about being in the warm tack room. I'm like, I can see my breath. Um, she doesn't like that we have to keep the doors closed and she feels trapped in there. So instead she suffers out in the cold barn, but it's on her. So the first tip that I mention is getting your horses out and moving despite the cold temps. This doesn't necessarily mean to get them out to ride. Uh, the cold weather makes it kind of hard for them to breathe, but walking is really important. I should have put my gloves on before I stepped out into the frozen tundra. So we still make sure our horses get all their normal turnout time, as you can see. <laughs> You're getting very tall. Um, it's important that they get out and move. This um, helps their joints not get cold and like locked up. Uh, a lot of our older horses need to get out and move. Uh, it also gets keeps their blood flowing. It's just good for their bodies if you think about what's natural for horses to be out and moving. So it's not really a great idea to just lock your horse in the stall when it's cold, um, even though that seems like it might be the most beneficial option. So as long as they have hay and fresh water outside, it's nice for them to be outside. The sun is shining, that's good for them. And it is really important for horses to get out and move. You know, if 
uh, people do want to come and still get on their horses like a road hack is really great or taking your horses for a hand walk if you want to spend some time with them and grooming them those are all still really great options when the temps are this cold you know asking them to do hard work isn't necessarily maybe the best idea but it is important for them to keep moving um, the other thing I like to mention when I talk about movement is like it's good for their bodies to prevent colic. A lot of the times this time of year, the temp's dropping high and low, kind of drastically. You have to worry about colic. So really important that they stay moving um, beyond like, you know, a blizzard and um, to help avoid colic as well. Okay, the second thing that I mentioned on the reel was making sure that your horses have fresh water and fresh hay all the time. Horses are forage animals, so eating is how they help warm up their bodies if they were to be cold. Um, fresh water, we are lucky enough to have um, Nelson, Automa <laughs> Nelson Automatic Waters, which is a real luxury. They are heated. The only downside to that is you can't monitor how much water your horse has drank. Um, and it also is a good rule of thumb to walk around and check to make sure that all the waters are still working. Even though it's a heated system, they do fail sometimes. It has happened before. And um, then a couple horses, Z and Richie, they actually have water troughs and we put trough heaters in them. So I check those every day just to make sure that everything's still working. You know, we wanna make sure that um, a lot of our horses still go outside overnight and we want to make sure that they have access to the resources that they need. The only waters at this farm that are not automatic other than those two troughs in the paddock are the shed row. Um, so those horses I actually try to leave out overnight. They're on night turnout so they have access to water and then I just have to check their water a little more frequently during the day because those buckets will freeze if the temperatures are super cold. I lost one of my brand new Carhartt work gloves, so my hands were cold yesterday. <laughs> so I brought my husband's snow gloves today just so I had something in the meantime. It has to be on the farm somewhere, but I can't find it. So frustrating, they're brand new gloves. My next tip is to make sure that you soak grain AM and PM. Um, if your horses get green, I find that it's even great to soak like alfalfa pellets or alfalfa cubes. I make it really soupy and I add electrolytes to make sure that the horses are getting enough um, hydration and I'm helping support and push hydration for horses that don't drink that great uh, during this time of year. If you follow me on this vlog frequently, you know I make all grain soupy for horses that will eat it with water. Uh, this is just always a great way to add uh, water and hydration into their diets. But also, it's especially important this time of year, there's a lot of horses that aren't um, thinking about drinking as much water this time of year. So it's a great time to uh, make sure you're making soupy food with warm water. I like to, you could use cold water if you don't have access to warm water, but I like to use warm water because I think it feels good for them, helps warm them up when they get nice warm um, food. Tip number four is to make sure that your horses are blanketed appropriately. Z is wearing two layers right now because he is clipped with a blanket clip and he also tends to run cold. It's very important that when you're choosing blankets for your horse or to blanket versus not blanket, you consider your horse's winter coat and how they feel about the temperature. I think horses are good at telling people. Um, it's also a great indicator to um, feel your horse's temperature under the blankets multiple times during the day as you're kind of playing with it. Um, so 
the temps have been down in the like low teens at night and Z is wearing two blankets and he makes sure, I made sure he has a neck piece on. So blanketing your horse appropriately. You might have also seen earlier Goose is outside right now with no blankets. He has a very thick winter coat and he's also out not outside overnight and has access to hay all the time while he's outside to keep warm. He has not once seemed cold. So I think you just have to factor in wind, rain, snow, um, your horse's personal preference, and if they run hot or cold, it's really important. I had to put my suit on because it was getting colder. <laughs> I'm getting colder anyways. So tip number five is uh, to make sure that you're riding when it's appropriate temperature-wise. You know, just like you wouldn't want to go for a long run if it's super cold out because you feel like you can't breathe. Um, you know, it's not fair to make the horses work hard when, um, you know, for me it's 20 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, kind of depending on the wind chill. So today, um, it's been sitting at about 21, 22. And, uh, you know, maybe some walk trot work is fine. For me, personally, I'm gonna give Z the day off. And um, I'm gonna do some light lunging and things for some other horses. This is a great time to do some like in-hand work, walking, things like that. Um, but we just wanna be considerate of their lungs. The one thing I will say is we have access to the neighbor's indoor. So after the sun has been on the indoor, um, it's typically a little bit warmer at the end of the day. So I tell people that, you know, that last hour of the day after the sun's been on the indoor, it's probably a good time to ride. But um, if you're not sure about your area, um, I always say to consult your trainer. That's a great opportunity to have a conversation about what you should be doing at this point of the time of the year. If you're working towards something or um, this kind of this time of year, I always think it's good to just like take it easy. Um, it's good. The horses are mentally tired from being out in the cold and um, you know, it never hurts to give them a break. You know, Z is kind of the perfect example. Um, I've discussed everything with my vet and had a lot of different tests run and tried to give him magnesium. And, you know, he just is so cranky and grouchy in the cold. Um, I think he's just an example of a horse that you need to read his personality and his body language and He's just not a huge fan of the cold. So that kind of wraps up for today. I just wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, what my thoughts were and my five tips for keeping your horses warm in the winter time. Um, I have to get back to some chores outside now and actually, honestly, like kind of too cold for my camera because the GoPro dies when it's really cold out. So, stay tuned later this week. Um, I'll try to get another vlog out. I've been working on one for you guys. Um, and uh, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy my channel, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Just hit the subscribe button. And I love to hear from you guys in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.